Hello and welcome to another Let's Draw tutorial with Procreate. This is the illustration we'll be completing today. And as always, I've provided a brush pack and color palette for you to download. I've also included a sketch and you'll find all that in the description below, so do grab those. The canvas size is 2000 by 2000 pixels at 300 dpi. And if you don't already know, I have a Patreon account where I post three exclusive Procreate tutorials a month. Please do come and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can enjoy a seven day free trial. And with all that said, let's get drawing. Once we've created our canvas, the first thing we're going to want to do is import our sketch. So let's head over to our wrench icon. We need to be on add and it does depend on where you saved the sketch. If you saved it as a photo, then you'll need to select insert a photo and then select it from your gallery. If like me, you saved it as a file, you'll need to tap on insert a file. I've saved mine to my iPad and I'm just gonna scroll up until I find the retro deer sketch and then just tap on it. And now if we go over to our layers, you'll see that layer one is indeed our sketch layer. So let's just tap on the end now and just reduce that opacity down to, let's say around 40%, and then tap on that layer to come out of that menu. We're then gonna slide this layer one to the left and we're gonna lock it because we don't want to accidentally draw on our sketch. And then tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna drag this layer underneath layer one. Let's head over to our color palette and we're gonna select the first color in the second row. We're gonna go over to our brush set and we're gonna select the crispy inker. I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size is at 8%. And this brush is pressure sensitive, so the harder you press on your pencil, the thicker the line, and the lighter you press, the thinner the line. So I'm gonna zoom in by pinching with two fingers and we're gonna add in the elements of our deer on separate layers. So this will make it easier later on when we start adding the shadows and highlights for our deer. So I'm gonna start blocking in the color for the main body of our deer. And this brush is quite forgiving, so you don't need to do it all in one stroke. So for example, I'm gonna start here and then draw in a diagonal line and I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then I'm gonna join that up here. Then we're gonna draw in another line here. And again, I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then don't be afraid to zoom in and rotate your canvas to whichever angle you feel comfortable. I'm gonna draw this leg here, rotating my canvas. And it doesn't have to be to the sketch 100%. That's absolutely fine. It's here as a guide. And then we're going to draw in an arc for the underbelly here. And then this back leg. I'm going to draw an arc here. And I'm going to hold my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then also here. So I'm going to draw in an arc, holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then we can close that shape here at the top. Like so. Now we're ready to drag and drop that color in. And then you may need to adjust the color drop threshold by sliding your pencil from left to right, just so we don't have any gaps on the edges. And if you actually zoom in, you can check. See, I've got a little gap here. I'm gonna fill that in by hand because this is a textured brush you may need to go in by hand as well. So that's the main body all done. Let's add in the tail. So let's go over to our layers. We're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna drag this layer underneath layer two. And then again, we're just gonna follow that sketch. And then close that shape behind the body, drag and drop that color in. Let's go back to our layers, tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on this layer and we're gonna clip and mask it now to layer three. We're gonna switch out our color now to the third color in the bottom row. And I just wanna add in this lighter section here on the back of his tail. 
and I'm just going to fill that in by hand. Okay, so while we've got this colour selected, we're going to add in the other parts for the legs. So let's go back to our layers. Let's tap the plus sign for a new layer. So I'm going to join this back leg here. And I'm going to close that shape here at the back of the body and then drag and drop that colour in. We're then going to join this one here as well. Closing that shape behind and then drag and drop that colour in as well. Let's go back to our layers, go back to layer two, tap the plus sign for a new layer. And we're going to draw in the spots for his body. So I'm going to draw in an oval here. I'm going to hold my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. So I'm going to draw in another one here. One more here. And then that last one here at the bottom. And we're going to drag this colour into that empty space. Tap on continue filling. And we're going to tap here, here and here. And then we can tap on that checkbox to come out of that menu. So now we're going to move up to the head area. Let's go over to our layers. We're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer. And then we're just going to draw in this section here for his face. So I'm going to start here and just carefully follow it round. I'm going to draw in an arc here. And I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. I'm just going to close that shape on this side. And then we are going to close the shape here at the top. And we don't have to be too tidy because this section here is going to sit on top. Then we can drag and drop that colour in. Let's go back to our layers, tap the plus sign for a new layer. Let's switch out our colour now to that last colour in the bottom row. And then we draw in a oval, holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. We can tap on the ellipse here so we can edit it. And I'm just going to bring it on down and then maybe stretch it out a little bit wider, like so. And then drag and drop that colour in. Again, you may need to adjust the colour drop threshold as needed. Let's go back to our layers. We're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to go back to our colour palette and select the first colour in the second row. And I'm just going to draw in his eyelid here at the top with an arc. Hold your pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. You can go to edit and then just gently move these nodes around. And I'm going to close that shape here at the bottom. Let's drag and drop that colour in. Let's move over to this side. I'm just going to follow the sketch here. And I might colour that in by hand. Let's go back to our layers. Let's go back to layer 8 and tap the plus sign for a new layer. Let's switch out our colour now to the second colour in the second row. And let's draw in his eyelashes. So I'm following the sketch here. And then don't forget to close that shape behind his eyelid and drag and drop that colour in. Again, you may need to fill in any gaps by hand. And then we're going to join this section here as well. And I'm filling that in by hand also. Okay, so let's go back to our layers. Let's go back to layer 9. Let's tap the plus sign for a new layer. Let's tap on our colour here and then switch it out to the first colour in the second row. And then we're going to draw in that top edge of his head here. So I'm going to start here and then draw in an arc. And I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then draw in another arc here. And then we're going to draw in another arc here to close that shape. And then we can drag and drop that colour in. Now let's go back to our layers. We're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer. And I'm going to start off with this section of the ear here. So I'm going to follow the sketch. I'll take my canvas, I think, and then draw this section here. I'll take my canvas. And then we can close that shape here as well. Okay, and then we can drag and drop that colour in. Again, just checking there aren't any of those little gaps. 
I think that looks about right. Now let's go back to our layers. Let's go back to layer 11 and tap the plus sign. We're gonna switch out our color to that third color in the second row. And then we're gonna add in this color here. So I'm gonna draw in an arc, holding my pencil in place. And then we can actually draw in another arc here. And then don't forget to close that shape and drag and drop that color in. Let's go back to our layers. We're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna switch out our color back to that first color in the second row. And we're gonna draw in this part of his ear, the inner part. So I'm gonna follow the sketch. And then we're gonna close that shape. And then drag and drop that color in. Again, if there are any gaps, you need to fill those in by hand, but I think mine looks okay. So we draw the back ear now. So let's go over to our layers. We we'll go over to layer nine, and we're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. And we're gonna follow the sketch. We draw in this ear. And then don't forget to close that shape here at the back and then drag and drop that color in. Okay, so these are the elements now all ready for shading and highlighting. But before we do that, let's change the color of our background. So let's go over to our layers menu. We're gonna go over to background color and we're gonna select the first color in the first row. Now that we've changed the background color, we can see any adjustments that we need to make. So let's go back to our layers. I need to go back to layer five. I'm gonna go over to the magic wand tool. I'm gonna to go over to liquify. I've got it in push mode. I've got distortion and momentum set to none, pressure set to max, and you'll need to play around with the size here. So I'm gonna bring mine down to about 25, and I'm just gonna tuck in this section here so it's not poking out. And there's a section here that I want to fix. So let's just tap on that magic wand tool for now. Let's go back to our layers. And this is layer seven. So let's go back to our magic wand tool, liquefy. Might need to zoom in here actually. I just wanna tuck this one in so you don't see that white there. And then tap on the magic wand tool again when you're done. And let's have a look. And maybe this section here can move slightly. So let's go to layer 11, go over to our magic wand tool, liquefy. Might bring that brush size down to about 15% because it's only a small area. And I'm just gonna tuck that in ever so slightly, like so. And then tap on Magic Wand Tool when we're done. Let's move on over to this side to see if there's anything that needs adjusting. And I might just adjust this section here. So let's go back to our layers. Go to layer 13, go over to our Magic Wand Tool, liquefy, and then just tuck that in, just to match that up slightly better. And then maybe here at the top as well and then tap on the magic wand tool when you're done. So now we should have something that looks a bit like this. Let's move on to shading. I just wanna go back again to this section here and just fix up the leg there. Let's go back to our layers, go back to layer five, go over to our magic wand tool and liquefy. I might bring the brush size up to about 18% here and then just tuck that in and then just tuck this one in a little bit like so and i think that looks okay now so let's move on to shading so let's go over to our layers let's start off with the main body of our deer so let's go to layer two tap the plus sign tap on it and clip and mask it we're going to tap on the end and scroll up to multiply we're going to switch out our brush now to the grainy shader variable i've got the opacity set to 100 percent and the size is set to eight percent so let's zoom in here a little bit. And I'm gonna shade the back end of our deer and then underneath his spots. And then you can stroke the pencil or you can tap away. So we're gonna add in a bit of a shadow here underneath his neck, underneath those spots. And I'm tapping away. And then here on the back end of his legs, and then we're just gonna tap away to blend that in, and here at the bottom as well. And then here on the back side of his leg, 
and then tap away to blend that shadow in. And using super light pressure, tapping away. Maybe add a bit more of a shadow underneath here. Make it a little bit more concentrated. And then you can tap away here as well. We are then going to go back to our layers. We're going to go to layer two, tap the plus sign for a new layer. And now that should automatically click to layer two. We're going to tap on the end and scroll down to screen because we're going to add in some highlights now. So I'm going to tap away here on this side of his leg, like so. And then also here, tapping away, blending those colours in together. And then of course here at the front, and tap away, blending that in. Like so. We're then gonna go back to our layers. And if you're happy with how your shading and your highlights are looking, we can pinch those together. Tap the plus sign again for a new layer. Tap this layer and clip and mask it again. Tap on that end and then scroll down to screen again. I'm then going to reduce my brush size down to about four or five percent. And I just want to add in a bit of a highlight here on the top edge of his back. It's ever so subtle, but it will separate that tail when we come to shade it there as well. So I'm just adding a bit of a highlight here, just tapping away. We can then go back to our layers and pinch those two layers together. Let's go to layer three, our tail layer. Tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on the N and scroll up to multiply. Again, I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size, let's bring that back up to 8%. We're gonna tap away first of all, adding in this texture, and then we can add in more concentrated shadow here at the bottom. And then we can actually switch out our color to that second color in the second row. Let's bring the opacity down here to roughly about 80%. And let's just make that shadow a little bit darker here. Like so. Now let's go back to our layers. Let's go back to layer three, tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on the end and scroll down to screen. Let's switch out our color back to that first color in the second row. Let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. And then we can tap away here at the top edge just to add in that highlight. And then just blend that in. Let's go back to our layers. And if you're happy with how those are looking, we can pinch those two layers together. I'm going to go over to layer four, tap the plus sign for a new layer. Let's tap on it and clip and mask it. We're going to tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. We're going to switch out our colour to that third colour in the bottom row. And then we're just going to add in little bit of a shadow here as well, closer to this section of the tail. And tapping away. We can then go back to our layers, slide to the left and duplicate it just to make it a little bit more intense. And then in fact, we can pinch all of those layers together. Let's go to layer five, tap the plus sign for a new layer, tap on this layer and clip and mask it, tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. And let's add in the shadows for the back legs. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to tap away and then just concentrate it more to the left hand side along the bottom. And then over on this side as well. I'm going to concentrate it mostly on the left hand side. And then just tap away, adding in that texture like so. Let's go back to our layers, slide this layer to the left and duplicate it. Let's just tap on that M for a moment and just reduce that opacity down to, let's say 80%, I think that should work. And then we can pinch those two layers together. Let's move up to his spots and tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on this layer, clip and mask it. Tap on the N and scroll up to multiply. Now, because we've got these on one layer, we're gonna to have to isolate each dot. So let's go over to our S-shape ribbon. I've got it in freehand, and I've got color field turned off here. And I'm gonna make a freehand selection of this dot here, and then close that selection by tapping on that gray circle. Tap on the brush, 
and then you're just going to tap away on the bottom left hand side adding in a bit of a shadow there tap on the s-shaped ribbon tap on it again let's isolate this top one here go back to our brush tap away go back to our s-shaped ribbon tap on it again isolate this one go to our brush tap away go over to our s-shaped ribbon tap on it again isolate this last one tap on the brush and then we can tap away adding in those shadows tap on the s-shaped ribbon when we're done let's go back to our layers we're going to slide this layer to left and duplicate it tap on the m and reduce that opacity down to 80 percent and then we can actually pinch those layers together as well let's just move to his nose first of all tap the plus sign for a new layer Tap on layer five and click and mask it. Tap on the N and scroll up to multiply. We're gonna go over to our colors and we're gonna select that bright red here at the bottom. Let's just move on up over to his nose. And then we're gonna tap away on the bottom left hand side, like so. Let's go back to our layers. We're gonna go over to layer eight and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on the end and scroll down to screen. Add in the highlight here on the top edge of his nose. And I'm just tapping away there. Let's go back to our layers. And we can actually pinch these three layers together. Now let's go back to layer seven. Let's tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on this layer and clip in mask it. Tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. We're gonna switch out that color to that third color in the bottom row. And we're going to start adding in the shadows on his face. So I'm going to tap away first of all, pretty much everywhere, just gently tapping, just adding in this texture. And then we can concentrate that shadow here at the bottom. Again, tapping away here at the top, like so. Let's go over to our layers, slide this layer to left and duplicate it. Tap on the M and just reduce that down to 80%. And then tap back on that layer. Now I do want to make the shadow here behind his nose a little bit darker. Let's change out our color to that first color in the second row. And let's just reduce the opacity down to, let's say 85%. And then I'm just going to tap away here very gently, adding in a little bit more of a shadow there. And I might just gently brush that round ever so slightly around the bottom like so. And then maybe just here on the top edge of his ears and just ever so slightly just following it around there at the top. So now we should have something that looks a bit like this. We can go back to our layers. And if you do think that looks a little bit intense, we can lower the opacity down to, let's say 75%. And I think that looks about right. So let's go back to our layers and we can pinch all of those layers together. Now let's go over to layer 10. We're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer. We're gonna clip in mask it. We're gonna tap on the N and scroll up to multiply. We're gonna switch out our color now to that second color in the second row. We're gonna bring the opacity of our brush back up to 100% and the size can still stay at 8%. And we're gonna add in a bit of a shadow here on the left hand side by tapping away. It's ever so subtle, but it's there. And then maybe just here gently, tap a couple of times. We can then go back to our layers, go back to layer 10 and tap the plus sign. We're gonna tap on that N and scroll down to screen. And then we're just gonna add in a little bit of a highlight here and then just gently on this side as well. Go back to our layers and we can actually pinch those layers together. Let's move on up to layer nine. Tap the plus sign, tap on it and clip in mask it. Tap on the N, scroll up to multiply. Let's switch out our color to that first color in the second row. And then we're gonna add in a shadow on the left hand side of this eyelid here. And then if we move on to this side, we can add a little bit of shadow here by tapping away. Let's go back to our layers, go back to layer nine, tap the plus sign, tap on the N, scroll down to screen. 
And let's add in that highlight here on the right hand side and then maybe here as well by tapping away just outside of the shape like so. Let's go back to our layers and we can pinch those layers together. Let's move over to layer 11. So that's that top section of our deer's head. So let's go back to our layers, tap the plus sign, tap on this layer, clip in mask it, tap on the end, scroll up to multiply. And let's start adding some shadows here as well. Start making some strokes here at the top, following that round and then tapping away to blend in those colors. And then roll that shadow around the top there and then a little bit more concentrated here at the bottom left. I'm just going back and forth and tapping away. We can then go back to our layers, go back to layer 11, tap the plus sign, tap on the end, scroll down to screen, and then we're gonna tap away on that top edge for the highlight, like so. Now let's go back to our layers and we can pinch those layers together. Go back to layer 15, tap the plus sign for a new layer, tap on it, clip and mask it, tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. And we can start making some shadows here on this back ear. So I'm gonna make some strokes and then tap away to blend that in. Let's switch out our color to that second color in the second row. And I'm gonna bring that opacity down to, let's say 85%. And I'm gonna just tap away, making this section a little bit darker, like so. We can then go back to our layers, go back to layer 15, tap the plus sign, tap on that end, scroll down to screen, Let's switch out our color to that first color again in the second row. Bring the opacity back up to 100% and the size is still at 8%. And then we can just tap away here on the top edge, adding in that highlight. Let's go back to our layers and we can actually pinch those two layers together. And I'm actually gonna pinch layer 10 and layer nine together as well, these eyelids and eyelashes. We're gonna move on up over to layer 12 and tap the plus sign. We're gonna tap on this layer and clip in mask it, tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. And we're gonna start adding in some shadows here as well. So I'm making it a little bit darker here at the bottom. And then I might rotate my canvas here. And then just adding in a bit of a concentrated shadow here and then just tap away gently, like so. And then we can add in a little bit of a highlight here as well. So let's go back to our layers, go back to layer 12, tap the plus sign for a new layer, tap on this layer and scroll down to screen. And let's just tap away, blending those colors in, add in that highlight, like so. Let's go back to our layers. We can pinch those three layers together. Let's go to layer 13 now. Tap the plus sign for a new layer. Tap on this layer and clip in mask it. Tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. Let's switch out our color to that third color in the second row. And then let's start adding in some of this texture all over and then just concentrate that shadow here at the bottom left. And then perhaps here as well. Like so, and if we go back to our layers, slide this layer to left and duplicate it. We're gonna tap on that M and then just reduce that opacity down to let's say 85%. And then we can actually pinch those layers together. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different for layer 14. So let's just tap on that layer, tap on it again. We're gonna select it. Make sure color fill is turned off here. Let's go back to our layers and tap the plus sign for a new layer. And then just toggle the visibility of that bottom layer 14. If we tap and hold, switch to our previous color, we're gonna start tapping away, adding in this texture. 
like so. And then we're going to switch out our collar to that second collar in the second row. Let's bring that opacity down to 85%. And then we're just going to make it a little bit darker here on that top edge. And then just tap away to blend that in. Might make it a little bit darker here. And I think that should do it. And if we tap on the S-shaped ribbon here, let's go back to our layers. Let's go to that layer 14, that bottom layer 14. We can slide it to the left and we can just delete that off. Now let's just toggle the visibility of our sketch by tapping on that checkbox here. And let's just have a look and see what we've got now. So this is our deer with all its shadows and highlights. And I think that's looking quite nice. We're ready to start adding in the background elements. Now I do just want to make a little bit of an adjustment here and here as well. So let's go back to our layers, go back to layer 12. Let's go over to our magic wand tool and to liquefy. And I've got it in the push mode. And if I zoom in here, I'm just going to just nudge this section down ever so slightly and then nudge this one up just so that it matches a little bit better. And then tap on the magic wand tool when you're done. I'm going to start adding in the background elements for our scene. So I'm just going to zoom out quite a bit here because I want to see the edges of the canvas. Now let's go over to our layers. And if you're happy with how your deer is looking and you don't want to make any adjustments, you can actually pinch them all together to save on your layer count. Otherwise, you can just slide to the right on all of the layers and then group them and collapse that group. We're then going to tap the plus sign for a new layer and we're going to drag this layer underneath our grouped layers. We are then going to go over to our colours and we're going to switch it out to the last colour in the top row. We're going to go over to our brushes and we're going to select the lazy stippler. I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size we can start that off at let's say 20%. And we're going to draw in an arc here and I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And we can bring that brush size up to 30%. And then we're just going to start blocking in this colour. And don't worry about any gaps. We're going to fix that in a moment. So now we should have something that looks a bit like this. Let's go over to our layers. We're going to tap the plus sign. We're going to tap on this layer and clip and mask it. We're going to tap on the N and scroll up to multiply. We're going to switch out our brush to the soft brush. I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size is set to 15%. I'm just going to introduce a bit of a shadow here at the bottom and I'm blending that in and I'm going to switch out my colour to that first colour in the first row. I'm going to bring the opacity down to let's say 70% and then just add in a little bit more of a shadow here and on this side as well just blending that in. Go over to our magic wand tool, Gaussian Blur and let's add in a let's say 10% blur tap on the magic wand tool when you're done and let's just reduce the opacity down to 85% and then tap on that layer to come out of that menu. We're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer, drag this layer underneath layer 15. We're going to switch out our colour to the fourth colour in the top row. We're going to go over to our brushes and we're going to select that crispy inker again. I've got the opacity set to 100% and I'm going to bring the size up to let's say 30%. I'm just going to draw in an arc here and I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. You can go to edit arc. I'm just going to move these nodes around ever so slightly and then we can drag and drop that colour in and we can adjust the colour drop threshold as well. Let's go back to our layers and if you're happy with how all that's looking we can pinch those layers together and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to switch out our colour now to the second colour in the top row. And we're just going to draw in an arc to frame our scene. We're going to draw in an arc. And I'm holding my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. We go to edit ellipse. And I'm just going to move these nodes around ever so slightly just to adjust it. And then we can drag and drop that colour on the outside here. Now let's go over to our layers. Tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to switch out our brush to the grainy shader variable. I'm going to leave the opacity at 85% here 
and I'm going to bring the brush size down to about three or four percent. And we're just going to start adding in some shadows underneath our deer's feet. So I'm going to zoom in here and then we're just going to add in a bit of a shadow and I'm building up that shadow closer to his leg and then we're just going to blend that out over to the left and then here as well and then just blend that out and then over here at the back Blend that outwards. And then here as well. Okay, so now we should have something that looks like this. We can actually tap and hold here on the smudge tool. So now that will switch over to the grainy shader. And I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size at 3%. I'm just going to tidy up these shadows with a smudge tool and here at the bottom, here as well. Okay, so now we should have something that looks like this. Let's go back to our layers. We're going to tap on that end and maybe just reduce that opacity down to, let's say, 85% as well. So now all that's left is to add in our stars. So let's go over to our layers. Tap the plus sign. Let's drag layer 18 underneath layer 17 now. So it's right at the bottom. Let's switch out our color to the third color in the top row. Go over to our brushes. Now I've got the scattered dots brush here. You're more than welcome to use that for the stars. We've got the dots brush and we can add in the stars individually. So I'm actually gonna use this brush here. So I'm gonna tap on the dots brush. I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size is set to 2% to start with. I'm gonna add in some of these larger stars and then I'm gonna bring the brush size down to 1% and then we can add in these smaller stars too. Now let's make these stars shine. So let's go over to our layers. We're gonna slide this layer to the left and duplicate it. Let's go to the bottom one. We're gonna go over to our magic wand tool Let's choose Gaussian Blur, and then we're gonna slide our pencil from left to right until we get to around three or 4%, and then tap on the Magic Wand tool when we're done. We're gonna go back to our layers. Let's go to that top layer 18. Let's tap on the N and scroll down to Add. And we can tap on that layer to come out of that menu. And if I pinch with two fingers and go full screen with full, that's today's tutorial complete. Thank you so much for following till the end. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. Please do come and share your designs with me over on Instagram as I really love seeing them. And I'll give you a shout out to my stories as well. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash the like button and hit the bell for future notifications. That will really help me out a lot. And with all that said, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and I'll see you all soon. Bye.